morning students in the previous class we have seen uh, data transfer instruction that is the data transfer instruction between the registers data transfer instruction between the internal ram to the external ram and uh, how your code byte of data is transferred from the accumulator under data transfer instruction we have seen these three categories next is your arithmetic instruction under arithmetic instruction we have seen addition operation addition add with carry subtract subtract with borrow multiplication division increment and decrement so when you see when the multiplication and division instruction is seen it could be used only with a and b register okay now we are going for the logical instruction that is where you can perform and or nor x or x nor so which is very important in case of your digital circuits so in 8051 to perform the and operation we have an instruction called and a n n so it performs a bitwise and operation bitwise and operation in the sense for example if you are having a n l a n l uh, a n l accumulator a comma hash 53 h like this you have one data okay so before this you have a data before this you have data mov a comma hash 1f h so you consider the data available in the accumulator is 1f and the data uh, to be added with the accumulator content is 53h so it is a bitwise and operation and operation is nothing but it is a multiplication operation so here how it performs move a comma 1f means the content of accumulator is going to be 1f so which is nothing but 0001 f means 1111 okay and anl a comma hash 53 h it means and immediate with the logical and anl means logical and uh, which two data you wanted to make a and operation that is accumulated data with a 53 h accumulated data is already 1f and you need to and this 1f with 53 h so 5 means 0101 Three means zero zero one one. So you need to write the numbers in the B C D. And operation in the sense it is just like your uh, multiplication. So one into one 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 zero zero one zero one zero. So what is the answer after making a and operation? It is five, and this is your three. So when you perform a AND operation, you are getting fifty three H, and this could be done either with the immediate addressing mode or direct addressing mode or immediate addressing mode or a indirect addressing mode. So the first one, what it is showing us, the first A N L item address comma accumulator. So here the whatever data you have inside this address, it is logically added with your accumulator content. Same thing. Here also you have item address with the immediate data. Here in this particular instruction, you are using a immediate addressing mode, A N L A comma hash data. In this also you are using a immediate addressing mode, and these two instructions is meant for indirect addressing mode. And next one is your register direct addressing mode. It means that whatever data you have in this register R not an R one directly it will be added with the accumulator content. We'll discuss this in detail with the example shown in each particular register. Okay, so these are all some of the combinations of your AND instruction. That is, in all with with this type of combinations, you can use this AND instruction either by using your immediate addressing mode or by using your register addressing mode or by indirect addressing mode. You can use this particular. A N L instruction with any type of addressing mode. So when you perform this logical AND operation, none of your flags is affected. Here we are not going to get any carry flag or auxiliary carry flag or parity flag. Nothing is nothing uh, we are going to get with respect to this logical AND operation. So here the flags affected is going to be none as shown in this table. So here the flags for all the instructions, whatever you are going to use. Whatever type of combinations you are going to use in this A N L, none of the flags is going to get affected. Next is your. I'll show uh, like between two 
uh, operand it is going to perform a logical and operation so i'll show one more type of examples like it is a bitwise and you can use anl a comma data it uh, all these are separate instruction this is one three instruction and this is an another three instruction so first one is with your immediate data second one direct addressing mode third one is also direct addressing mode so for that i'll show one example so for the first instruction that is you can for the first instruction so move a comma hash data so this day this one already we have discussed second one a comma direct a comma direct in the sense you can use this instruction move a comma hash 1fh okay this is the data available in the accumulator next one a n l a n l that is and logic the content of accumulator with 50h so it means that here there is no uh, what is that there is no hash symbol or add symbol so here 50 represents it is your address so in your memory so you consider you have a memory so in this memory you consider the location uh, 4f 50 one like that you have the memory and the data available inside this so inside this 4f you consider you are, con you are having 0ah in 50 you are having uh, f of h so 0 f of h you consider the data available in the 50 now after when the assembler starts to execute this instruction it fetches two data to perform the logical and operation one data is fetched from the accumulator and the other data is fetched from your uh, 50h that is uh, from your direct addressing so in this direct addressing what is the data available f of so 1f is logically added with f of so this are uh, the result of this will be your logical and operation so 1f if you write it you will get it as 0 0 0 1 f means 1 1 1 1 ff means 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so and operation the output goes high or the output is true when both the logical inputs are at uh, true level that is or at higher level so here 1 1 1 1 1 the rest all will be 0 so after performing and operation that is anl a comma 50h you will get the answer 1f so this is how your logical and operation works there are different combinations that you can use this logical and operation it is first one is your immediate addressing the next two one is your direct addressing as we discussed with an example third one anl a comma rn so it uh, this rn represent any one of the register in any of the banks and the next is your indirect addressing mode and the last one combines the combination of your direct addressing mode with the immediate addressing mode this is how your logical and operation works the next one what we are going to see is your logical or operation logical or operation means in add operation when both the logics at the input are high then the output is going to be high whereas in case of uh, or operation in if any one of the input at the logical input if any one logical input are at higher level then the output is going to be high irrespective of the other input so these are all some of your uh, combinations of your ORL it is not that ORL can be used only with a specific addressing mode even this a logical R can used can be used with immediate addressing mode, direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, register addressing mode like that. So for example, here I'll show one example. Move a comma hash uh, 09 h. Consider the data. It is a uh, whatever I have represented here. It is a immediate addressing mode. Move a comma hash 09 means. Uh, the content of accumulator is going to be 09 now this content i wanted to uh, use one register addressing mode you consider move sorry you consider we are going to use or logical or operation ORL so between two operands so the operand one has to be in accumulator and the other operand had, if you are using a register addressing mode it could be R0 now you consider 
you have ba four banks of register that is bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 bank 4 so in this you are having r0 r1 r2 r3 and it goes on so inside this r0 you consider the data what i am having is 1f so the data inside this r0 is 1f therefore the two data that is the operand one data is going to be 09 and what data we have inside this R0, inside the R0 the data available is 1F. So between these two operands we are going to perform a logical OR operation. So 09 can be written as 0000, 0, 0, 0. 9 can be written as 1001 and 1F the data available inside the R0 is going to be 1F. So this 1F can be written as 0, 0, 0, 001 f can be written as 1 1 1 1 the logical or operation works when uh, it, uh, like uh, irrespective of the number of input if any one of the input is at logic 1 then the output is going to be 1 therefore here i am going to get 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 so the output is going to be 1 f so after performing a logical op uh, logical or operation between your accumulator content and r0 content the answer is going to be 1 f this is how your logical bitwise or operation works in K in your microcontroller instruction setup clear so these are all some of your uh, combinations of your R instructions. How exactly you can use this R instruction. Next one is your XRL. So XRL we will discuss in the next class. Okay. So far we have seen the logical AND operation and logical OR operation. In case of your logical AND operation, the output goes high when both the inputs, when the connected inputs are at logic 1. In case of your logical OR operation, the output goes high even when any one of the input are at logic 1, the irrespective of the other input. Okay. In the next class, we will discuss the other uh, X or X nor operations, logical operations in 8051 instruction set. Thank you students.